Muhammad is the mastermind behind Boys of Muslim Youth. And uh, she's going to take the stage right now. Just come here. And she's going to explain to you a bit about what Boys of Muslim Youth is all about. How's everyone doing? Um, well, first, I would like to all welcome you, um, brothers and sisters, to our first uh, Voice of Muslim Youth political engagement session. Um, I would also like to thank the candidates for coming and taking some time from their busy schedule, I'm sure, uh, to be here with us and answer our questions that we have for them. Um, I would like to first start by actually talking to you about exactly who we are. And as Voice of Muslim Youth, youth and uh, as well talk about our organization, what is it, uh, what is it uh, support and who we are exactly. Um, as Voice of Muslim Youth, uh, we are actually young professionals uh, who have a dream. And our dream pretty much is to have a very successful, strong and thriving community, a Muslim community within Ottawa. And this what we'll do is it will help our city, it will help our province, and as well it will help our country. Inshallah, I'm hoping very much. Well, Voice of Muslim Youth, pretty much our goal is to promote unity of the community through promoting leadership in youth. Uh, what I mean by that is actually we're going to get the youth to come and join Voice of Muslim Youth, Inshallah, and we're going to help them achieve leadership by helping the community, inshallah. So what pretty much it means is we're mobilizing the youth to help the community itself. And through this, they're going to learn how to be leaders in their community and inshallah, uh, leaders of tomorrow, bi'ithnillah. One of the things we're concentrating actually on, actually what we're concentrating on as Voice of Muslim Youth is social issues in our community. Um, and social issues as well as political issues that concern us um, as a community. So inshallah we're hoping that we did a couple of events inshallah. The first event we did was on mental health. Um, talking about depression, um, sicknesses, mental sicknesses like bipolar and all these things in our community. Which, have, which is a big taboo in our community and a lot of people tend to hide these things. And it's not really healthy for them, it's not healthy for the community, it's not healthy for the families. So we try to bring those issues back, um, I mean, out in the open and to talk about it. So we got a psychiatrist to come. We also got a leader from our community to talk about these issues. And subhanAllah, we were very surprised with the outcome of this event. A lot of people, even sitting within the audience themselves, had these issues and they were hiding it. So that kind of gave us a big boost, a big encouragement to continue on and go to our next event, which was a Muslim town hall meeting we had uh, in uh, the month of July. And this was, uh, this had a goal as to talk, to talk to the leaders of the community and to tell them, listen, we have these issues and we need to talk about them and we need to figure out the solutions for them. So one of the issues we talked about was foster care and how come there's no foster homes in, in Ottawa, Muslim foster homes in, in Ottawa. And we also talked about youth in prison. What can we do about it? Why is there more youth going to prison, Muslim youth going to prison? What are the causes? What are the issues? How can we fix them? And another thing we talked about is citizenship. How to get more involved with politics, with, um, with Canada actually, become more Canadian, I, I can say. Um, so these are the events we're having. This is our, the event uh, that's after the Muslim town hall meeting. And we're hoping you guys enjoy it very much, inshallah. So I will pass it on back to Shelby and let's continue on with the, with the process. Thank you. Thank you, Kautar. So um, I'm involved in recording this event. I attended the Muslim town hall meeting that um, Voice of Muslim Youth organized and it's the first time I heard about them, but I was really happy to see that there was a Muslim group of youth that was really concerned of tackling social issues in our community. We have a lot of Muslim organizations um, but as she said, there's, there's a lot of avoidance of the serious social problems we have in our community. So um, one of the topics was political engagement. So I was like, oh, I've had this idea of having, you know, like an all-candidates all session that was not a debate, even though I know it's very hard for the political candidates to not debate with each other, but um, that really would be a chance to, to engage with youth and see, you know, get the youth to actually think about voting because 
all the issues that they're talking about all relate to either different levels of politics. We're concerned about child youth mental health, we're concerned about the prisons. It all relates to politics. So, um, and the reality is, I would say Muslim youth are not apathetic. I mean, you talk to most Muslim youth, they know something, they know about regime change in the Middle East, you know, they know about like history of colonialism, imperialism, they know a lot. But, you know, they might not know why the cost of bus fare keeps going up because we, you know, we're almost thinking too globally that we almost can't look at the micro. And so I really wanted to have a session where, you know, Muslim youth actually have a chance to start thinking about the, the small level because the reality is if we have people in our community going to prison, if we have a lot of our youth in our community dropping out of school, trying to deal with those global issues is going to be a lot harder. So it's about empowering our community. So this session is unique. Again, it's an experiment. A lot of things are experiment. It's experiment having something for youth that's involving politics. It's experiment having politicians come together and not, it's not about them debating each other, it's about them actually talking to the people in the audience. Um, it's, an ex it's an experiment having something particularly focused on the Muslim community. We have had all candidates debates. In 2004, we had a very interesting one. Um, one of the candidates' car exploded at the time and uh, fired her and had to be called. Hopefully something like that won't happen again. I was at the, it was, it was very interesting. I, I, um, so it's not our first time trying to have specifically Muslim all candidates debates, but it is our first time focusing on youth. Um, and I'm very happy. I, I specifically chose candidates who I knew could have some sort of connection with the youth coming, either because their background is they came refugees, they came as immigrants, they care about communities. Um, I knew that something like this would necessarily work with all candidates. Um, unfortunately, the conservative, um, perhaps the conservative candidate is not was not able to come. He's very sick today, but he will be answering the questions that have been asked. There's six fixed questions that have been asked um, related to six priority areas that have been identified by Muslim youth and Muslim youth workers. Um, so the, how this event's going to work is that there's six fixed questions that have to be answered by the candidates who are first going to introduce themselves. Um, and then there'll be an open session where people, um, priority going to youth, um, will get to answer, sort of ask questions freely. Um, there also will be breaks for prayer, and so we'll be respecting that. Um, Guys, you guys can pray in here. There can be some sheets, and women will be praying in the big room just down there. People will be directing you to that.